Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, hope you're well. So today I wanted to know what the best way would be to wash your foundation brushes, specifically foundation brushes because that is probably um, the trickiest brush to wash um, because foundation is definitely a lot more longer wearing these days, a lot more harder to wash than say a blusher brush, um, a powder brush or a concealer brush. Um, I've tried a couple of different things and I've had mixed results. When I say mixed results, I've definitely always ended up with a very clean brush, but for me it's more about the time and the elbow grease it takes to actually get to that, you know, to that stage in the first place. So I wanted to check out five different products and I actually want to know what the best way would be to um, get a clean foundation brush or the fastest way as well. So not just the most clean foundation brush, but also the fastest because obviously I'm trying to um, you know, save time, save money, if, if possible, save both. So yes, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe if you like my content, you know, there's no pressure, but it is free. And also while you're subscribing, you know, just skip over to the next little icon, the bell icon, and also click on that so you can get notifications if I um, upload a new video. Um, I try to do at least one video a week. Sometimes I'll do two if I've had like a, a long week or whatever. But yeah, I try to do one video a week and and yeah, so let's get into this. So I have five different foundation brushes, which um, I have already, which I hope I would have already shown you, but we'll see. Um, not really sure how I'm gonna edit this video. And I have five different methods. So the first method is um, using washing up liquid, which in the UK, you know, this is what we used to wash our dishes, washing up liquid. I think it's called liquid detergent in the US, I'm not sure, but um, we call it washing up liquid and it is fairy, good old fairy. And I mixed half of that with half of vegetable oil. So before um, I knew about this trick, I used to just use washing up liquid and because I know fairy is like, you know, it's a trusted brand. It's one that I use in my day to day anyway. And I knew that it's very, very, I already know that it's very good on, um, it's very tough on grease and tough on like tough stains and tough, anything really so um, I figured well if it's tough on grease I might as well just use it with my foundation and hopefully that would work and it actually does um, for the most part it does work sometimes when I finish washing my foundation brush I might notice like in the center um, there's still a slight staining or a slight you know slight, well, a slight staining basically so um, and then after that, I googled just to see if there was anything that was more affordable that I could use because I wasn't really about to be spending a lot of money on makeup brush cleaners. It's just, no. So um, I found out that you could mix oil with this and I think I read this, I read this on, so I read this on Reddit and yeah, somebody had, you know, left a comment saying they mix um, half and half and that's what I have here. So I think I have about a teaspoon of each mixed in so that's the first one and the second one is one that i moved on to once i discovered that poundland was selling makeup brush cleaners and this is my trusty makeup brush cleaner um it's been it's been it's been very good for washing my foundation brushes it does obviously take some elbow grease you know you need to make sure you saw your foundation brush you don't just dip your foundation brush in it and it automatically comes out clean i don't know any cleaner that does that but um i don't really stress too much with this particular uh, makeup brush cleaner and it's pound it's a pound for 200 mls and it does last me a while but then i do go through foundation brushes quite a lot i change my foundation brushes say every two to three probably about every three days or so maximum um yeah so this is what i've been using and i have again a teaspoon of this in this ramaking jar thing and then um i i haven't personally tried this one but this is what a lot of people used to um, recommend and it's baby shampoo, it's just Johnson's baby shampoo. Again, I've got the same quantity of that in here. And then another one I thought I would try was just um, a, a bar of soap. So some people said that they used a bar of soap just to wash their brushes and it's, you know, it's about, because it's a bar of soap, it does last a very, very long time. So I thought, oh, wow, I could actually save a lot of money with this. So I got myself um, a simple one. This is just a Johnson's baby um, soap bar and I think it's got um, some kind of oil in it, I'm not sure. But yeah, so this is just a Johnson's baby soap bar and I just love it because obviously it smells like a baby, like baby lotion. So, ooh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I've just stained it. It smells really nice, but um, so yeah, I have tried, I, I specifically bought this just to clean my brushes and I've used it for a few times as well. So I'm gonna try it again. I do know it works, but um, I'm not so sure how much 
effort I need to put into washing my foundation brushes so that's what we're going to find out just to make sure and then what I've been using the most recently is this um, product called the Pro Hygiene Sanitizing Solid Brush Cleaner by Makeup Revolution and um, this is a massive tub so it's basically um, like the size of say a really good a really good jar of like setting powder and you get how many grams do you get in here you get 100 grams um, US and that's three so that's 3.3 fluid ounces you get in here or 100 grams or, or 100 how can I talk or 100 grams so basically it's like liquid soap in a jar but it doesn't foam up or anything it does definitely clean your brushes though and the best thing about this is unlike the bar of soap in a soap case um, this screws down so you know I can take this traveling with me and yes yeah, so I thought it would be a really really good a very very convenient way to make sure I can clean my brushes if I'm out and about if I'm traveling so let's find out how these brushes fare so these are all my different foundation brushes and I have used them all equally so as you can see they are very very used so the first one I'm going to try is so what I'm going to do is actually put a timer on and I'm going to see how long it takes for me to clean each brush I hope you can see I've got my stopwatch set at zero okay so I'm gonna set it you can't really see it because of the light but it's set at zero right now so I'm gonna try this method first so I've saturated my brush in hot water and I'm gonna swirl it around in this oh, let's start the timer What I also have is one of these things. I got, um, basically this is like a makeup brush cleaner thing and it's really good for scrubbing your brushes on. So I got this in one of my birch boxes. So once I've swirled the brush in this, So I've rinsed it for the first time and this is what it looks like. I'm going to go in again because I can see just a tiny bit. So this foundation brush is now clean, but what I have what what I do know about using this method is that sometimes when the foundation brush dry or when the brush dries, it can feel a little bit greasy because obviously you've just used oil. So what I then do is just to wash through it with the same washing up liquid without the oil just to get through the just to get rid of the oil. So the time was 2 minutes 50 when I finished washing the brush and I'm just going to do another clean okay so the brush is now completely clean and I believe grease free so the time is now 3 minutes 32 and I'm going to stop it there so that's one brush down so the next brush so the next brush is going to be with the um, Poundland makeup brush cleaner, which I've always used. Again, I'm going to wash. Again, I'm going to wet the brush. So it's now wet, and I'm going to swirl it around. So I started the timer again. Because this has basically gone watery on me, I'm going to use some more makeup brush cleaner. So 
I've just rinsed it after the first wash and you can see it's still very much stained. I'm going to keep going and see how long it takes to make this clean, if it can get clean. I am finding that I'm, oops, let me just turn the water off. I am finding that I'm having to use more makeup brush cleaner. Even though I'm convinced that this brush is clean, I think it might actually be stained. So that is, yeah, that can happen sometimes. But let's see. Yeah. I think it's safe to say this foundation brush is actually stained. What I'm actually going to do is, I feel like I want to try the oil and, um, cause that was quite effective. And the time is, now, oh actually, let me just cut, cut off the time. So the time is now three, oh, stop, stop, stop. Time is now three minutes, 43 seconds, and this is where we got to with this foundation brush, with the makeup brush cleaner. So what I'm gonna do is try the oil method with the washing up liquid and see if that actually makes a difference. So I've got some more oil and washing up liquid, and I'm gonna swirl the same brush that's now clean but stained in the mixture, and let's see if it's any better. Wow, can you see already? Okay, so I hope you can see that this foundation brush is a lot cleaner. I think I'm gonna have to throw this foundation brush away very, very soon because it's starting to shed. But um, if we can ignore that, we can definitely see how much cleaner it is. So hope you can see aside from the shedding that this foundation brush is now, can we focus? So this foundation brush is now clean. So that is two nail to the fairy washing up liquid and oil combination. Next, I'm gonna try the baby shampoo. And I have another foundation brush that's dirty. Let me just wet it first. Okay, so I'm going to start the timer again. This is after the first rinse, um, first rinse, first wash. I'm now going to rinse it. And this is what it looks like. It still looks stained, but it looks somewhat clean. I'm going to go back in with some more baby shampoo. So this is the second rinse and I'm really really impressed with this. I actually can't believe shampoo was better than my brush cleaner because I was using this for the longest time but anywho this is after the second rinse. I'm going to go back in just to make sure. Okay so this is now clean and the time is 2.59. Okay, I'm really, really impressed with this. This is the shampoo brush. So the next brush is gonna be washed with the bar of soap with the lipstick stain on it. I'm just gonna wet the brush and then reset my timer and start. So this is after the first scrub. using the same brush and um, the same scrubby thingy. It's getting quite clean. So I'm gonna rinse it and see. This brush is more or less clean. That's really, really good. And my bar of soap looks like a mess. I'm gonna go in again just to make sure
And this brush is very clean. The time is 2 minutes 13 seconds. I believe the bar of soap is now in the lead in terms of how quickly it cleans and how well it cleans. I actually am very surprised at that. Um, and then lastly is my last foundation brush. And I'm going to use the Revolution Solid Brush Cleaner. Again, I'm going to wet my brush. And I'm going to swirl this around in there. Okay, so I'm going to add another 6 seconds to this because I forgot to set the timer, so 6 seconds plus whatever time. This is after the first wash and there's still some product, but it is getting cleaner. After the second scrub, it's almost clean. I'm just going to go in one more time. So the brush is now clean, the time is 3 minutes 44 plus oh, 6 is 3 minutes 50 seconds. So those are all my brushes and so far the only dot was the makeup brush cleaner which I was actually loving for when I was using it. Um, so maybe I've actually forgotten how bad it was for foundation or I've just used it um, or they've changed the formula, I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm very surprised because I used to think this was quite good for washing foundation brushes or maybe I used to mix it with my fairy washing up liquid as well. I actually can't remember now. I think I might have done that. Maybe that's what made me think <laughs> this was so good. But yeah, so this is the only thing that didn't completely remove the foundation stain. Um, it definitely cleaned the foundation brush, but it didn't completely move the remove the foundation stain. So I actually wanted to wash one of my makeup sponges as well. So I have the velvet, um, the microfiber velvet makeup sponge. And I'm going to see, I think based on how good... Um, Based on how good the results were from washing these brushes, I'm going to use the, the, the two best ones. And so far, that has been the Bar of Soap. Um, the, the shampoo has been good as well, but the Bar of Soap, in terms of how quickly it's performed and how well it's cleaned, and the oil and wash up liquid method. So those are the two that I'm going to narrow down and use to clean. I have two of these that are, that are dirty, so I'm going to use um, both methods to see which one cleans the, the sponges quicker, quickest. Okay, so I have my two dirty sponges. So I'm going to use, I'm going to try the oil and wash up liquid method with this sponge. So the sponge is now wet. I'm going to start the timer. So I'm just swirling it around in here. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to use oil uh, or this basically. Th um, I'm not even sure if you're. Not, I'm not even sure if you're supposed. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to use oil on this. A microfiber sponge but I hope it's okay otherwise I've just ruined a really good sponge <laughs> so I'm gonna rinse it for the first time let's see how it's um, how it's done okay. so after the first rinse it's gone all wrinkly and there it is almost no staining um, there's still a little bit on this side you can't really see with the light but it's almost clean so I'm going to go back in again so this is what it looks like now and the time is 3.34 so it is clean as far as my eyes can see anyway and um, yeah all the foundation and all the products that was gonked on there is now gone so I'm going to go with my second one on the bar of soap so the soap has been cleaned and I'm going to wet the sponge. So the sponge is now wet and I'm going to start the timer. So 
might be a hard one to show because the soap is moving around in the container but I've held this one this the soap down so let's see how this goes so after the first rinse there's still some foundation on this side which is the side I use anyway so I'm gonna go back into the soap dug my finger into the sponge and it's broken but um the time is i'm gonna call it anyway the time is 401 and i feel like there's still like slight staining on this side with the soap i could keep on going but i can definitely already say in terms of how quickly um you can get product off the sponge I definitely say the washing up liquid and oil method was a bit faster and I'm surprised because this was the fastest method in terms of washing my brushes but with the sponge it seems the oil can get maybe a bit further into the crevices of the sponge maybe that's why I'm still going in Okay, so the sponge is as clean as I can get it. So the sponge that's marked is the one that I've used, um, used my bar of soap to clean. And this is the one I use the oil and washed up liquid to clean. And this is basically how it was when I bought it in terms of its coloring. And this is what this looks like. I think this is less fuzzier right now because it's got so much water or um, either that or something is causing the little furry bits to clump together so it's not as fuzzy but in terms of it returning to its original form the oil and the washing up liquid method actually helps with this so as i was saying this method with oil and washing up liquid was a lot more effective than the method with the bar of soap that's not to say you won't be able to clean your sponges with your bar of soap but it might be faster to use oil and washing up liquid so those are the two best products which, which is why i only wanted to use them with my sponges and here are the results so I will list the times on the screen so you can see which one performs the best. In terms of actually cleaning the makeup um, brushes, the only thing that didn't work as well was the brush that I cleaned with my makeup brush cleaner by Poundland. But everything else pretty much worked even though it took a bit more time. So here are the brushes and the sponges. So um, I hope um, if you're very, very inquisitive like myself, and you've always wondered what the best method was to clean your makeup brushes or sponges. I hope this really helped you out. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and do a few more videos like this where you're, you know, testing out different theories, different um, different theories, different products, just to see what works best and what is the fastest as well. So it's all about saving time. And I'm all about saving money, but if I can save time as well, then you know, double bonus. So yeah, um, hope this was helpful to somebody out there. If you were wondering what to use, or if you've been using one product and you haven't had the results that you had before try these other methods um, just, to, oh, just to mention I do still like this this is definitely a very easy way to clean makeup brushes because it just has the convenience because it can it can be screwed and carried around so um, I wouldn't be too quick to dismiss this this definitely does clean my brushes but it just takes a bit more time um, from what I've shown you and this was five pounds from super drugs it's always out of stock so people do love this and I bought this because it had really really good reviews but to be honest um, if not for, for, for if not for for yeah, if not for the sake of convenience um, I would if I could find a way in fact what I think I will do when this runs out is mix this and my oil in this container and 
that's what I'm going to use to wash my makeup brushes from now on. And um, the bar of soap again, that's also there if I am in a rush or whatever and I don't have time to be mixing. Bar of soap, definitely. If you've had any of these and you've um, taken something away from this, please do comment down below. It'll be good to hear your thoughts. So if you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up again and hit the notification button like I said before and hit the subscribe button as well. That would be very, very useful. So please hit, do hit the subscribe button. It will be good to have you on board. Um, if you're watching any of my videos and you've watched more than one, it might be helpful to hit the subscribe button so at least you don't miss any more. It shows you're a bit interested. Even if you are fighting the urge, you're probably interested in my channel. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye.